Welcome back. We want to say hello to Captain Richard A. Bear from the U.S. Army. Happy Veterans Day, and thank you for serving our country. And what is it you say? Thank you for the freedom you provided. There you go. The <laughs> no freedom worries. that we we enjoy today. Um, first of all, how long have you been in, in the Army? So I've been in the Army for seven years, um, or sorry, six going on seven years. I commissioned um, in 2016. Um, from the Missouri State University, actually, and tremendous ROTC program over there. <laughs> yeah, they do. They have an amazing program. I actually love it. I I do some volunteer work with them every now and then to help Great. you know help them get them out. Um, but I've been in the military in general for 16 years. I actually started out enlisted in the Marine Corps about a year after high school, mm -hmm. and then did that for four years. That's where I actually met my wife. She's also a prior service Marine. Awesome. Um, along with her family, her brothers. <laughs> And then um, we got out, and then we um, we came back here to Missouri, and I was like, okay, this is going to be my new home. <laughs> Good. We, we like having you here in Missouri. It's yeah. a great place to Where'd live. Where'd you go to college? So Missouri State okay. University is where I went to college. At one point, their program produced more generals than West Point at certain That's point. That's incredible. In our life. This program here is phenomenal. Bob yeah. Gordon was a two-star uh, who graduated from that program, the mm -hmm. Marty family, and those wonderful men. We've just got some incredible, incredible Americans that live here. That protect our freedom and we're Absolutely. grateful. Mm -hmm. So you're 16 years in. Yep. About ready for a, about ready to move up to major. Where are we going here? No. So I've got about uh, three more years okay. um, before I get uh, before I get to major. It's right. about two years and then I get looked at. And then you go colonel, light colonel, colonel, general. You're going to be a general? No. So <laughs> <laughs> he's got plans for you. Yes. yes. No. We're I'll, not messing around, bro. I'll be. I'll be. I haven't made the final decision, but it'll be around major lieutenant colonel time frame because mm. I am eligible to retire in. Um, about nine years. Good for wow. You. And a young man. Yes. That's what, incredible. What's, what's the biggest challenge recruiting this generation to come join the service? Um, so there is, we do have a challenge in both a, a gap in education um, and a propensity to serve, but the really biggest gap we have is the health and mental health of kids these days. Oh, I've yes, heard a lot of kids yes. are on anxiety medication mm. and they can't pass certain tests. So there's that. Um, this generation is also more open to talking about their issues and, and you know trying to figure out what's going on in their lives mm. and things like that nature. Um, the 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 physical health is definitely also a detriment, a detriment to this generation. Um, they're not as active. Mm -hmm. um, they are more overweight these, these, these days. Mm -hmm. um, not, not super, now we're not talking about a super obese or anything, but they are a couple pounds uh, over the body fat for present. Do, right. do you move the bar a little bit to bring more in? Uh, we, so we have uh, moved it just slightly. Um, and, it's, and what it is, it's just more so we moved it slightly to what's called the ARMS 2.1, 2.0, um, and that program allows kids to join a little bit higher, a little bit higher body fat percentage as long as they have a passing um, test score, mm. and then they get sent off to the basic training a couple months early, lose a little bit of that percentage. Okay. That way, when they actually go to basic training, they meet the standards. Richard, I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, I know you're talking about this generations, but I think uh, having a purpose is going to be a help for, for these, these kids. Do you go out, do you go out to high schools, do you, do you speak to people and try to encourage them? Absolutely. Um, that's, so that's actually the biggest thing that, that's changed this year from last year is that we actually have more access to high schools. Um, we still have, you know, everybody was still dealing from the pandemic and reeling in from that. And a lot of schools were still kind of hesitant last year to kind of open up their full doors completely. Um, so this year, a lot of the schools are uh, inviting us back in and wanting us to talk to their kids and being more upfront and open about it. And that's the biggest yeah. change. Right. What's your main closing tool to say, put your name on the line, let's go? <laughs> so it, honestly, it depends on every single person. Um, everybody wants to, you know, join for different reasons. Uh, myself, I joined because I just needed to mature. I really yes. did. Um, I, but I, but I recognized that in myself because when I joined, um, it was a year after high school. Um, I had college paid for. My parents were paying for everything. My parents paid for my cell phone, my car. Every, I had a full free ride. I literally went to class and I was just like, I don't want to do this. I'm wasting my parents' money. Right. And so I decided to join. Um, but then you have people that join, like my wife, that just wanted to get out of town, wanted to travel the world. Yeah. Um, you want some people that can that join because they are single parents, or even they they recently got married, have a kid, they want to have you know health insurance or you know housing provided, which yeah. the military does. So it gives them a stable life. 
Richard Abier, thank you so much for joining us today. And, and if someone's interested in contacting you, how can they do that? So we have six different locations. Um, we have two here in Springfield, one on Kansas Expressway, one um, on Glenstone, just across the Battlefield Mall. We've got one station in Bolivar, one station in Branson, one station in Joplin, and then one station in Pittsburgh, Kansas. And honestly, you just look up Army recruiting in those three areas, um, active recruiting or Army Reserve, and we, that's us. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thanks, Richard. Not a the problem. freedom that you provide, brother. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks a million. We'll be back, guys, right after this.